Hello engineers. In this tutorial, we will take a look at the key elements of the user interface in a part file. So as you can see, I am now on the home screen. Let's start a new part file. And we will start at the very top and work our way down. So at the top, we have the quick access toolbar. Here we have a number of tools, including new, so we can open new parts, drawings, assemblies. We have the open here. Here we can open existing parts, drawings, etc. Save, undo, redo. We have the home icon here, which is the shortcut to the home screen. And just here we can assign a material to our part. And over here we can assign a appearance. To the very right, we have this drop down here, which enables us to customize the quick access menu. Here we can choose which tools we want to display or not to display. Moving down, we have the file tab. So in here we have the generic tools, new, open, save, save as, but we also have export. Now in export, we can choose to export whatever is in the graphics window as a image, also as a PDF. And here we can export as a CAD format. So I will select this one and we'll run through some of the formats, which is just down here that we can export as. So these are the different file types. We have options including uh, IGIS files, step files, and STL files. For those of you who are interested in 3D printing or will be using other CAD softwares in adjacent to Autodesk Inventor, you will commonly be using the export tool. Alongside the file tab, we have a series of additional tabs. So 3D model, sketch, annotate, tools, etc. Let's take a look at sketch. And if we look at the ribbon here, we can see that all of the create tools have been tabbed under the create panel. And just next to it, we have the modify sketch tools, the pattern sketch tools, constrain sketch tools, and the same under the 3D model tab. So all of the create 3D model tools have been combined. So the modify tools and the pattern tools just over here and so on. Moving on, we have the model browser, which is not currently showing. To open the model browser, we click the plus just here and we select the model browser. This is also referred to as a design tree. It is here that we can see a complete history of our parts or assemblies, and we can edit that history accordingly. I will leave that open. And in the very center, the largest area is the graphics window. This is a 3D environment in which we model our parts and assemblies. At the bottom, we have the active tabs. So here we can jump to the home screen or to let's say part one or sample part two. So any tabs that I have open at the minute, like so. This is just like a internet browser. We can switch between any active tabs. And on the right hand side, we have the navigation tools. So just here we have the view cube and just underneath that, we have a series of additional navigation tools. I will be covering these in a separate tutorial. And that concludes the part user interface. I will see you in the next tutorial.